Hey, we're here at Cleary University, National Championship Cleary University, with Coach Tim Bailey. He's going to help us out with some drills. Let's check it out. We're back here with Coach Bailey at Cleary University. Thanks again, Coach. And now we're looking at working that full field infield and trying to get two outs for the price of one. So you've got some special techniques or at least some things that help your players get a little more consistent. What are we looking at with this drill? Okay, in the first drill, what we did was we worked mainly with the middle infielders, okay? And that's because they're the ones that got to have the quick hands. They're the ones that have to make the play. Uh, next, at the next step of this is we'll bring in the whole infield, okay? We'll roll balls to the third baseman. We'll roll her a couple. She'll turn a double. We'll turn double plays with her. Move to the shortstop. Turn double plays. Move to the second baseman. Turn double plays, and then we move to the first baseman and turn double plays. Today our first baseman is not going to do it because she just says she has an arm issue. But we can at least show you what we're doing. Sounds great. Okay. Let's right. get to it. Go. Okay, so it looks like what we're trying to do here is expand the entire field so that everybody's involved and now we have the longer throws so taking the the smaller end of it where you're fine-tuning things and starting to spread it out a little where you can actually work on you know more game situation yeah now one thing one thing we do talk about a lot is we talk about when, we're, when our second baseman and our shortstop or whoever's getting the ball is coming up to receive the ball we want them to come up with their hands together like this so they can make the quick transfer so as you watch and we talk about this before we start this drill with the girls as we're doing this, we want the girls to make sure that their hands are together. Our second baseman are going to be coming up. Our shortstop, wherever who's making the transfer, they're going to be coming up with their hands together. Okay, if you're watching the film, they'll come up. Their hands will be together. They'll make that quick transfer and throw. Efficiency okay. of movement, essentially. Exactly. Okay. All right. Let's see what they got. So I notice, especially with your third base, when they're not sitting back on the ball, it's not a baseball situation where the ball's actually coming into them. They're attacking the oh, ball. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're not absorbing the ball. And in game situations, that's a lot of times what we're going to get. We talk about that with young players a lot. You know, don't sit back on the ball. You know, be aggressive, short bases. Okay, now we move, now we go to the second baseman. Okay, so now we're going to get the second baseman and then turn the, sec uh, the, the double play from the other end, okay? And, and again, in a short period of time, you're getting a lot of reps in for your fielders. Yeah. And this is what you would consider a daily drill. We do it every day. We do this every day. Hands together, quick release. So let's talk a little bit about the footwork as we approach the bag for the two players, okay? So let's, let's head over second base here and get some of your middle infielders. Now we've got a, bulk, uh, a ball coming towards second, all right? And we've got a shortstop of receiving the ball from second base. Help break down the footwork and how she's gonna touch the bag in order to be a little more efficient with the ball then transferring and going to first base. Okay, basically, you know, one thing we talk, we do, we, we talk about this a lot, is when we get a runner on first, we're going to, our shortstop and our second baseman, we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna move towards second just a little. Uh, so we got an opportunity to make that, whether a girl's stealing or whether we're actually getting a ground ball and making a play. Because what the thing we wanna be able to do is, I'm gonna walk over here and show you, is we wanna make sure, and we talk about this all the time, is, is if the second baseman has the ball here, we want our shortstop, to, as she's coming to the bag, we want her to approach her so she gets her body in line with the second baseman. Okay, so when the second baseman's throwing her the ball, she's seeing her whole body. She's not cutting at an angle, trying to catch it over here. So they're coming to the bag with their hands together here, and then they can make the tag to go and make the throw. Okay, so they're bringing their back foot across the bag, yeah. and they're keeping the ball within their core. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Same with the second baseman. If the 
the, if the second baseman gets the ball, hit to her, uh, or the shortstop gets the ball, hit to her, we tell our second baseman, as you're approaching that bag, make sure that you're coming at her. So you have your whole body, she's throwing at you. You're not cutting a quick angle to do that. That's why we back up a little bit and cheat towards the bag just a little. Okay. okay. Yep. If the other team can, if they're a good enough hitter, get it <laughs> to realize that we cheated a little bit and get it fastest, well, then you beat on that power, one. Yeah, we right, got to beat. Right, that right. happens. Right. I'd like to thank Clear University and Coach Tim Bailey for having us out today. Uh, thank you so much, Coach and University, for giving back to the softball community, sharing your wealth of knowledge, and helping everybody get better. Again, if you enjoy our videos, please make sure to like it and then hit the subscribe button down below. Then you'll get notified of all the new videos we have coming out. And please feel free to email us at k2mentoringinfo at gmail.com with any questions, suggestions, or if you want to appear in a video, we'll see what we can do. Keep working.